All right, my friends. It is finally happening, I think. Um, I've been away for a couple days. It's been nice and warm down here in Texas, getting up into the 80s, 70s during the day. We are still having cold fronts, but when we have them, the lows are in like the 40s instead of the 30s. So, the crappie, I think, should finally be moving up. We got a bunch of urban spots that we can hit. We got this drain right here, and just perfect crappie habitat. Drops off into about two, three feet of water, and then another drop off into five or six. We come up here to spawn, and uh, we're gonna see what we can catch. As always, got my casting Zephyr and my casting Wide Eye Power Jig Rod. We've got our four pound trilene line. That is a 1 16th ounce jig head and a little Mr. Crappie grub type thing on there. Not a bad start. Oh my god. It's a third. A little bit bigger than the last one. Fired up too, they fight so much harder when they're spawning, and you can see they're starting to get dark, but they don't even have their spawning colors yet. Ah, come on. Oh my god. I think we've been messing with this guy for a minute down there. And they keep getting bigger. That is a beauty and he's the darkest one yet. Hopefully I can find an absolute monster with colors like this. Such a subtle bite. There's another one right here. There it is. Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. Stay on. Stay on. That's a monster. Holy. Bikes. Look at the shape of that guy. That's insane. Caught him left-handed too. Look at that beautiful crappie. What a monster in perfect shape. Huge belly. That was a fun one. They're also fighting insanely hard right now. Let's try and fish some a little deeper. Oh, oh my gosh, guys, this is a giant, this is a giant, pick a side, buddy, pick a side, oh my gosh, oh, I shouldn't have gotten up here on this thing, oh, okay, it's 
stay with us here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. That's the biggest Texas crappie I've ever caught. Oh my gosh. I'm freaking out. Oh. Oh my gosh. I don't know if it's the biggest Texas crappie I've ever caught. I might have gotten a little excited, but back um, it is an absolute unit. Look at its belly. Look at it. That's insane. I'm so stoked. What a monster. Oh, it's heavy. It's very heavy. <laughs> that is a very special fish, my friends. I am very excited about that one. What a crappie. She's gonna take off just fine. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. She's gone. <laughs> giant not as big but still absolutely huge oh. all right he's not as big as I thought but he's beautiful I honestly think that when I stand up on that thing, my jig falls differently. What is that? Golly. Oh, it's a bass. Daggum bass. Get out of here. Like I was saying, when I'm standing on that thing, I can fish this jig vertically a lot better, and I think that actually might have helped me get that bite. Oh, look at that snake right there, guys. You see him? Pretty cool. Stay with me. Oh, golly. Look at that slab of source. Still nowhere near the biggest one we've got today, but just another. Freak! Oh my gosh, guys. Good times, good times. I don't know what else to say. That might be the funnest crappie adventure I have ever had in my life. And the cool thing about these giant crappie is I get just as excited about them, about catching that like giant one I caught today as I would about a 10 pound bass or a 20 pound peacock or a giant catfish or any other fish that I've caught. They are so cool. And like I said, it means just as much to me as another, any other giant fish I've ever caught. I've been chasing a crappie that big in Texas for a long time. And after thinking about it, I think that is the biggest crappie I have ever caught in Texas. That guy was just huge. Whew. But the spawn, like, just started. Like, you could see there wasn't black on their fins yet. And, like, in two or three weeks, those fish will have fins that are completely black. They'll be spawning even more than they were today. And this is just the beginning. And we have had an insane year so far for crappie. Let's find some bigger ones. Thank you guys for watching. You know I appreciate it.